Hey everyone, I'm Ashley the Aussie Celiac and this is What's New Celiac. Major news this week with the recall of low and rice flakes and porridge for gluten contamination. For the past week, photos have been shared with the company regarding errant grains that appear to be similar in appearance to barley. After what I imagine was a thorough investigation, the company has recalled specific batch numbers of the product, which you can read about more on the FSANZ website. I'll link it down below. If you have the product, you can return it to store for a refund. I know that a lot of people have opened the packaging and put them into storage containers. My advice is to err on the side of caution and to not consume it. If you haven't already heard, Next week is the start of the Gluten Free For You and Baker Delight collaboration. The Celiac Society endorsed collaboration sees several Baker's Delights locations have, having gluten-free bread delivered pre-packaged and manufactured by Gluten Free For You. For more details and a full list of the bakeries participating, you can head to the link down below. Gluten Free For You have also announced that they will be opening a new store on the Gold Coast in Mermaid Bay. They have not announced a date yet, but I will keep you up to date. Finally, Aldi have a full page in their catalogue for the gluten-free sale. Returning this year are the cake and bread mixes, noodle cups, pastas, and there are two products that I haven't seen before, including scotch fingers and shortbread cream. For new products that I've seen in stores, I spoke about the Sophie Kitchen vegan prawns and salmon that I found at Coles a few weeks ago. And now Woolworths have begun stocking the range as well. In the online news section, I found gluten-free crumbed vegan crumbed prawns and scallops. Quite a few people have asked if I've tried the brand yet, but unfortunately I haven't. It is on my list for review and if enough of you want it, I will move it up the list. However, at $10 a pack, they are quite pricey. Still on the Woolworths front, I am yet to cite the bagels in store. Online, it is still saying that a lot of stores have stock. However, whenever I turn up, they haven't been there. As for the croissants, they are still listed online as temporarily unavailable. Our trip to Perth is getting closer and closer and I am so excited to be able to widen the reviews on the Aussie Celiac website to include the beautiful Western Australia. Our trip is completely packed, filled with visits to the accredited venues as well as 100% gluten-free places. You have a lot to squeeze in, in in WA. One of the recent additions is Mugshot, which opened last week and is 100% gluten-free. I definitely think I'll be coming back with a full tummy twice over. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I've announced that I'll be putting up polls on Wednesday because the first day in WA, you'll be able to choose what I eat. I'll be posting small videos on Instagram and Facebook stories. And if I remember to video enough, I might even have a YouTube video up here. I'm not promising anything though, but I will do my best. Of course, it's now onto the weekly sales. At Woolworths, we have the Almond Breeze Chocolate Almond Milk, Bio Cheese Slices, Chris Dips, Hand striker sticks, K Roo products are again two for 11. The Maggi recipe bases are on sale. Harvest Snaps multi packs, Primo products, Sam's Pantry bars, So Good Almond Milk, Smith's and Thin's multi packs, Wicked Sister rice pudding, and the typical Woolworths specials on their snags, burgers, and specially seasoned sausages. At Coles this week, it starts with the Abbott's bread, Always Fresh Dips, Barilla's pasta, Bounce Energy Balls. Butter shortbread, Carmen's Bliss Balls, Coco Mojo drinks, Don Meats, Eat Right Crackers, Fantastic Original Rice Crackers, Fantastic Goodies, Fountain Sauces, Freedom Foods Crafted Blends Popcorn, Gippsland Yogurt, Golden Days Apricot Coconut Slice, Golden Days Sesame Snaps, Gravox Varieties, Heart and Soul Chicken Noodle Soup, Heart and Soul Pouch Varieties, Kez's Kitchen Biscuits, La Zupa Soup Like Milk, the new Marion's Kitchen marinades, Messy Monkey Fruit Bars, Messy Monkey Cereals, Obella Guacamole, Alina's Wafer Crackers, Aussie Sauce, Tomato Sauce, Paul's Custard, Peckish Crackers, Peter's Ice Cream, Pipple Hummus, Primo Gourmet Sausages, Primo Hidden Veg sa uh, Sausages, Corn Pieces, not all corn products are gluten free, so don't forget to check. Real Food Rice Crackers, San Remo Pulse Pastas, Shah Biscuit Varieties, Slendia Edamame Spaghetti, Sun Valley Fruit Straps, Sindian Lentil Burgers, and the new Sindian Vegan Sausages with a review up tomorrow. Thomas Chipman Chips, Veggie Twists, Gluten Free Veggie Mite, Vegeta Stock, Violet Crumble Multi Packs, Vita Soy Milks, again, not all are gluten free, some contain barley, so do check. Wellabies Hummus Crackers, and a range from the Wholesome Food Company. 
Don't forget to head to the website to read reviews, recipes, and guides. That's www.theaussiecelac.com.au. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll see you again next week. Bye.